Rest in peace to former Reds pitcher Tom Browning, who passed away on Monday, December 19th. Browning passed away at the age of 62. It was reported by Boone County Sheriff's Department that he was found not breathing and unresponsive at his home in Union, Kentucky. According to reports, no foul play was suspected in connection with his death. Browning played for the Reds from 1984 until 1994 and won a World Series with the club in 1990. He is the first and only Reds pitcher in franchise history to have a no-hitter in a game. Brown pitched a no-hitter back on September 16, 1988 versus the Dodgers as they won one to nothing. During his time with the Reds, he went 123-88 with a 3.92 ERA in 300 games along with 298 starts. Tom Browning made his only All-Star game in 1991 and finished in second place for NL Rookie of the Year back in 1984. In the 1990 World Series, the Reds swept the A's and Browning pitched six innings in Game 3 when they defeated Oakland 8-3. Browning was elected to the Reds Hall of Fame in 2006. In the 1994 season, Browning suffered an injury to his uh, humerus bone as he fractured it and missed most of the season. He tried to make a comeback in 1995 with the Royals, but Browning was forced into retirement after only two starts. Tom Browning once snuck out of the ballpark in 1993 at Wrigley Field and was spotted watching from one of the rooftops across the stadium. After the game, he was fined $500 for sneaking out of the stadium. Former teammate Barry Larkin tweeted this about Browning after his death became official. R.I.P. my friend, Mr. Perfect Tom Browning. We share some great times as well as the same birth date, April 28th. You will be missed.